All right, guys. So this video is going to be a three-part video. First part will be the Emacs Lite. Third, second will be the F40. And then the third will be the XFoot and the compilation of all the data and to actually compare each and every one of them. Now, there's a lot of data to go through. So first, we'll go through the Emacs motor. This is the Emacs Lite Low KV. And let's go ahead and take a look. So what I've done here is I've ran the test for the Emacs Lite. Uh, with a 5045 King Kong Triblade on a 6S. I didn't do a 4 and a 5S. This is the only motor where I didn't do that. And also ran the DAL 5046 Triblades from 4S all the way up to 6S. And the Emacs Lite King Kong 6 inch prop, which is the 6040 prop, uh, 4S to 6S. And uh, every other motor, or the other two motors, I ran um, every prop three tests from a 4s up to a 6s so let's get started now as you can tell right here here's the emacs light running the king kong 5045 trial blades on a 6s and we run the test here and as you can tell right there let's just see let's take a look here so we got our thrust it got 140 1425 uh, grams of thrust which is pretty insane uh, and at a 40 amp current. So that's pretty good, kind of. But this motor is... We'll keep it for a little bit later. I'll talk a little bit more about this motor. Now we'll just go through the data. So motor efficiency, 35% proficiency. And all this, I'll have it graphed on the final once we're comparing all the motors together. And don't look at the motor temperatures. I'll explain this part later on. So overall, this one seemed okay we still have to check out the other motors before we give any final verdicts now let's check the emacs on a F dial 5046 uh tri blades this was running on a 4s and as you can tell here we had 857 grams of thrust and torque we had around what what is that 53 grams of, of torque right there and what do we have here so we have it was pulling 25 amps for 857 grams of thrust so that's that's pretty efficient that's pretty good uh that's the motor we've set up on the seven inch build so but i'm planning actually on removing it and i'll explain why in a bit so it's around 40 percent efficient here 75 percent throttle let's check 75 percent throttle on the 4s so this is on 4s if we take a look here it's pulling 500 grams at 12 amps so that's that's not much that's not really how is it you're supposed to fly it so it'll be very unflyable kind of it'll be very slow all right let's take a look here so now this is the emacs light again on the dal 5046 triblades but running 5s lipo so if we take a look here we got a maximum of 1.171 kilograms of thrust which is 1171 grams of thrust at 35 amps now this is this seems like a little nice sweet spot right there but i mean you can get this kind of stuff on a 4s lipo with a 2306 motor so it's nothing like too crazy right here uh 35 amps is still quite a bit but if we take a look at 70 percent throttle right here 75 percent throttle we got around 800 grams close to 800 grams with 18 amps of current usually you're probably flying between 50 to 90 percent throttle anyways and uh, you do have a little power if you push it. So that's pretty good right there. 40% efficiency. And uh, everything else here, we'll talk about the propeller efficiency and all that kind of crazy stuff in the final video when we're comparing all of them. So, But I will have this link down below. And if I do forget to link it, just sometimes I do, please leave a comment and just remind me. All right, so let's go down to the Emacs Lite DAL 5046 on a 6S. Now it pulled 1.5 kilograms of thrust, which is 1,500 grams of thrust at 45 amps. That's insane. However, if you take a look up here, it was pulling one kilogram, 1,000 grams of thrust at 24 amps. So that's pretty darn good, I would say. Uh, but, you know, there's a little catch. The motor was reaching up to close to 40 degrees centigrade and the whole shop smelled. I could smell the motor. So it's it's on a 6S, you know, even a five inch prop 6S for this motor, I think it's a bit too much. Now, yes, it's a static test, which means it's on a bench and it's stationary. However, in real life, it'll be completely different. But still, this is one of the worst in temperature wise motors. I have tested so far um so take that into consideration with the emacs you don't want to push it too much 
Um, so that's one thing. This is the 6S. Now we go to the 6-inch props. I did the 4S test, 5S test, and the 6S test. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So the Emax Lite on the King Kong 6040 by blades or two blades and not tri blades. Uh, 4S, it pulled one kilogram of thrust at 28 amps. That is very good, actually. It's pretty insane. Not a, not a lot of torque here, I can see that, that's for sure. Uh, but it's still pretty good. That's, that's, that's pretty nice, actually, 4S. So let's just go ahead now to the 5S here. And we're going to take a look here. So let's just see what we have. So we have the 5S here pulled 1.5 kilograms of thrust right there around 40 amps. So, yeah, that's... That's still good. That's actually very good, kind of, kind of ish. In real life, we're probably pulling 35 amps, 34 amps, or something even less while it's flying in the air. And if we take a look at 75% throttle here, it was pulling one kilogram at 20 amps, 1,000 grams of thrust in 20 amps, which is pretty insane on a 5S. That's 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 that's, that's very good. That is efficient and flyable, you know. That's amazing, actually. I mean, you could you can get away with using like almost almost pretty cheap thirty five amp ESCs. So that's pretty that's that's, that's actually nice right there. So here it did kind of get toasty. It was kind of warm. It reached uh, it was kind of warm here. <clears throat> and we'll get into the temperatures and how each of them felt. I took notes to everything, and we'll do that once we compare all the motors together here in the final video. So here we have the Emacs Light King Kong sixty forty on a 6S LiPo. So we pulled 1,800 grams of thrust at around 58 amps, we could say 49 amps of current. So that's that's quite a bit, that's a lot. That, that's that's not how I would set it up, to be honest. That's way too much. Uh, the sweet spot from seeing this is actually the six inch props with the 5S LiPo here, I mean, in current wise, if we're, if we're just monitoring our current for our battery, because if we look here, we have at 75% throttle, we have one kilogram at 20 amps, and you're usually flying between that area, and every once in a while, if you give it a little burst, 40 amps is okay. So I really like this. So the Emacs light on a six inch 5S, I think is possibly the winner. This is what I would use it on, and um, it looks, looks good that way this is this is the kind of setup i would go for i don't think i would go for this setup at all here this doesn't really this would be too insane plus the motor would get ruined right away uh, i left this for the last test and holy crap that that the whole shop smelled the back smelled the motor it didn't burn just yet but i couldn't touch it either and it was just yeah so yeah, this is a big no-no. Maybe in real life it's obviously different since your battery's not going to be able to give you 200 amps of current, possibly. So, you know, you're not going to be reaching that. Plus, while it's moving and everything and the air is still going through the motor, it'll obviously cool it down. So that'll be good in that perspective. But overall, that's still a lot of current. And um, it's not really gaining much if you take a look here. I mean, what, a couple 300 grams of thrust for 10 amps of current doesn't make sense to me this looks like an absolute sweet spot right here the emax light on a 6040 uh 5s seems very good here so overall you know this motor seemed okay but it cannot handle 6s very well i can tell you that even on the five inch props it was getting very toasty and i think on the dowel i could even smell them i started to smell the motor i had a, i just let it rest for like 15 20 minutes until it dropped the temperature but um overall uh the emax light it's an okay motor um, I still haven't real, done any real world testing. We built it and it was just snowing, so I haven't even flown it. That's why I took it apart just to test it here and get get some idea of what's going on. And um, yeah, overall, oh yeah, one thing the the KV, the real KV for this motor. Uh, I tested also the KV. It was it's it's rated for nineteen hundred KV, but it, I, w I was actually getting. Uh, 2,177 kV to 2,184 kV. Uh, it wasn't very consistent like the T-Motor and the X-Foot. The X-Foot and T-Motor were usually no more than 4 kVs away from each other. This one's jumping up like 10 kVs here and there. So this one's above 2,150 kV. 
uh, this motor, and it's rated for 1900 kV. So that could explain all this in, in the extra heat because it's the highest kV from uh, all the other ones I've actually tested. I mean, so yeah, take that into consideration. But overall, um, it seems good. This seems like the sweet spot, which is a six inch prop on a 5S LiPo. Looks like a very nice sweet spot. I could just look at that. That's pretty insane. You know, and a 4S is probably good. Probably give you a long, pretty nice long flight time maybe. But um, if you wanted like just that perfect balance, to me, it just seems it would be the uh, 6040 on a 5S with these motors. And overall, that's going to include it for this video, guys. So uh, please consider joining our Patreon. Help me support this mission. Help me support this channel. And um, I'll have the upcoming videos. It'll be out in about 12 hours or so, the second video for the T-Motor. And then the last video is where we put up, we just set up the charts. We take a look at everything uh, all together and compare and take one last look and see what's the best. I still haven't gone through all the data. I'm just going to go through one motor at a time. It was a lot of testing. Um, like a lot like maybe it, was, it took me like seven hours of testing i think and now i'm just gonna start looking at the data and editing the video so uh, i just want to let this video go out real quick so that's why we're taking a look at the emax light so next video will be the t-motor and after the x foot with the comparison of all the motors so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and again consider joining my patreon i do awesome giveaways um this month, there's going to be, I think, maybe three giveaways. I'm not sure yet, but usually it's two giveaways on Patreon. I'll also be doing one for YouTube very soon. And any support goes an absolute long way to keep this channel running. And you can also use the fill links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.